Hello, and welcome to our short presentation on combustible dust safety and the new DHA regulatory requirements. For wood processing operations, statistics show combustible dust events are still occurring frequently and in significant numbers. In 2019, 62 fires, 24 explosions can be attributed to combustible dust hazards. The regulatory plan is for the new DHA requirements to reduce these numbers that unfortunately have been consistent or trended upward in the recent past. Dust collectors have been involved with 22% of the fire and explosion events. Effective dust collection is an important engineering control to address the combustible dust risk. However, by removing the dust from the workspace and concentrating in the dust collection system, the system must be designed and operate with the proper safety controls to mitigate the risk. Many of the older dust collection systems still operated by facilities need to be upgraded or replaced to correctly address the risk. Organic materials like wood, when broken down into a fine powder, become very volatile. The finer the particle size, the more reactive it becomes when exposed to a copper igniter. Dust, chips, and shavings, if not removed from the workspace with proper dust Dust collection and housekeeping can become fuel to make a minor malfunction turn into major events with impacts on employee safety and the ongoing business operation. Operators' knowledge on how to handle combustible materials and manage the risk is imperative. The Fire Triangle and Explosion Pentagon provide a framework for operators to identify plant areas, process equipment, and pipe systems where a combustible risk may exist under certain circumstances. Combustible dust, oxygen, and competent igniters make a fire risk scenario. Add in conditions of dust dispersed in air and the right concentration combined in an enclosure. This completes the explosion pentagon and creates an explosion risk scenario. This is the primary conditions we look to prevent or isolate to ensure safety for employees and assets. DHA stands for Dust Hazard Analysis. The DHA report is a blueprint for operators to manage the combustible dust hazards in the facility. During the analysis and creation of the report, it documents in details if and where combustible dust, fire, and explosion risks exist. Furthermore, it defines how to best design and operate the facility to mitigate the risk based on their possible current and impact severity. If there are deficiencies in the current design and operation, includes a plan to address these areas. The formal process provides the below information to be used as a guide for a safe operations facility now and going forward. Number one, is the dust material combustible? How combustible is it? It lists and classifies the dust handled for the factors related to their combustible Info will include these important parameters based on the standardized test. KSD, Pmax, minimum ignition energy, and minimum ignition temperature. There could be more than these specific ones. And number two, where are these risks present in the facility and the process equipment? Identifies the portions of the process or facility areas where a fire and or explosion hazard exists. Number three, what equipment malfunctions and events could create a combustible dust fire and or explosion? It summarized specific fire and deflagration scenarios or explosion scenarios and determines their consequences including fires, flash fires, and explosions. Four, how likely are these scenarios and what is their impact? So it assigns risk level to all these specific scenarios. This includes a prioritization and scoring process of the specific risks based on their likelihood and their impact severity. Number five, what safeguards do you need? What process need to be in place to address the risk? So this identifies the means of which fire and deflagration events can be prevented or mitigated. And the final one is how do you manage the document now and going forward? This is a living document to be reviewed and changed to address modifications in the materials processes and production operation that will affect the combustible dust risks. Based on 652 standard of the NFPA National Fire Protection Association, the DHA must be completed for for all existing facilities by September the 7th, 2020. Facility operators must complete and keep current to present on request from authority having jurisdiction. An AHJ could be a fire marshal, building inspector, OSHA representative, or insurance auditor. The AHJ will use this document and inspection results to determine if the facility is in compliance with local and best industry practices. As part of the design and planning process for new facilities or additions to existing facilities, a DHA must be completed and approved by the appropriate AHJs. As part of the standard, this DHA must be reviewed at least every five years and when significant changes are made to the process. 
Using the fire triangle and explosion pentagon, we can identify the risk in that scenarios associated with the dust collection system. If the system is designed and operated correctly, the primary risk is in the air material separator or dust collector. When in operation, a dust collector presents a significant risk because only ignition source is needed to create a combustion process. Therefore, we need to add safety systems and namely controls and devices to address this possibility. These systems are designed to meet one of three objectives and work in concert to provide several layers of safety. Prevention systems prevent an event by not allowing a competent igniter from entering the air material separator or suppressing the combustion process with a chemical. For example, a spar detection extinguishing system meets this objective. Two, isolation systems. In case of a deflagration event, block the path or isolate it so the pressure wave and flame front do not have a path back into the workspace where consequences can be significant. The last one is mitigation systems. These mitigate the damage by controlling the explosion and directing the pressure wave and flame front to a safe area. Most common mitigation uh, systems are relief vents. These are placed on the dust collector to maintain the structural integrity of the enclosure during an event. The DHA report is a comprehensive document for the entire operation. See sample table contents that include specifications on housekeeping, equipment maintenance requirements, and employee training. It identifies deficiencies with the current situation, provides a prioritized to-do list based on the risk level. It addresses risk with the process system, the process equipment, and each facility area. Located in the process equipment section, the dust collection risk analysis identifies each hazard scenario and how likely it could happen. Each scenario is addressed by safety and control technologies for the dust collection system and their objectives of prevention, isolation, and mitigation. For wood processing applications, the NFPA 664 standard prescribes how a central dust collection system should be designed, operated, and maintained to reduce the chance and severity of a combustible dust event. An NFPA compliance system include, includes the following safety systems. A spar detection and extinguishing system to prevent ignition sources normally created by machine malfunctions from entering the dust collector. In the case of an explosion in the dust collector, a car's passive isolation device to block the transmission of the pressure wave and flame front through the supply pipe to the workspace. The third thing is a high-speed abort gate system to prevent the transmission of the pressure wave and flame front through the clean air pipe system to the workspace. The last is relief venting on the dust collector to control and direct the explosion energy to a restricted area. This diagram shows an explosion in the dust collector and the systems performing their functions. The explosion relief vents control and direct the energy away from the building and to a designated restricted area. Located in the supply and clean air pipe systems, the car's explosion isolation flap and the high-speed abort gate system block the path of the pressure wave and the flame front from the dust collector to the workspace. Sensors on the relief vents provide feedback to the main motor control system to initiate a process stop sequence to further mitigate any damage. Later, we can assist you in multiple ways with the DHA process. If you need a combustible dust safety expert to take the lead in the entire process, we can supply a reference. If you need an assessment of an existing dust collection system, we can make a site visit to review the situation and provide proposals for system retrofits and upgrades. For existing customers, we will provide technical documentation to support the DHA activities. We offer on-site PM inspection services and will train your staff on how to operate and maintain the system. For ongoing management, our Insight solution will provide continuous feedback on how the system is operating. Netterman offers a vast range of safety systems that are applied based on the specific application details. The range includes systems to prevent, to isolate, and to mitigate a combustible dust hazard. To meet the authority having jurisdiction and the NFPA requirements, Netterman supplies systems that have the following credentials. Their performance is approved by a third party through testing or meets a design standard that proves the component or system is fit for the specific purpose. The test results and risk analysis are evaluated and certified by a third party. All ATEX compliance systems are approved and inspected within an audited quality assurance system. Based on the statistics, combustible dust fires and explosions are prevalent in the wood processing industry. Operators must properly handle and process combustible dust or face severe consequences. The dust collection system is an important engineering control but also is a fire and explosion risk. The DHA process is 
an opportunity to ensure your existing dust collection system is properly designed, operated, and maintained to deal with the combustible dust risk inside. The deadline to meet the DHA requirement has passed. Owners and operators are supposed to have this blueprint in place and use it to manage the combustible dust safety risk. We are willing to partner with operators to meet their production and safety goals in relation to the DHA requirements. Netterman has put forward the DHA checklist. It is an effective tool to use in the specification of new dust collection solutions as well as a guide to see if existing systems are in compliance.